Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue. And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about what type of content should you create when you're starting off. Neil, what are your thoughts? So the type of content that I would create if you're starting off um, is blog text-based content. The reason being is it is the easiest type of content to create. I do believe podcasting and videos are great as well. It is harder for most people, but if you're exceptionally talented on camera or uh, you're better with voice and doing podcasting, then start off there. The real thing to keep in mind when it comes to content marketing is there is no right answer on what type of content should you start first. Most people are going to go with the blog format because it's the easiest for them. But if your skills are either video or audio, then do what you're best at because what you're best at is typically going to be the easiest for you. And that's what you're going to excel at. Yeah. And I would say the, the, the one thing I would uh, add on to is, you know, if other people are, everybody's going in one direction and you happen to, like Neil mentioned, if you happen to, ex- everybody's doing blog posts in your space, let's say it's fitness, right? But there's nobody doing, uh, you know, Instagram, for example, right? Which is not true. I'm just giving you an example here. But let's say, you know, nobody's doing Instagram and, you know, you happen to be a really good photographer, then go in that direction, right? If everyone's zigging in one way, maybe you can zag the other and then, you know, carve out your own niche, right? So this is, again, the, the blue ocean strategy that um, that I've talked about in, in the past that you can certainly Google and, and learn about it more. But I would say, yes, definitely start with your strengths first. Um, some people, for example, if you look at uh, Gary Vee, who's a prolific content creator, right? He's actually not, he's not good at blog posts because he's just not a writer, right? But you see him, he's actually, you know, he's a, he's good on camera. He's also, uh, which means he's also good on, on audio as well because he's, he's, you know, naturally, you know, he's a charismatic person. He's good at uh, speaking, right? So think about what you excel at, what you're actually good at. If you're a good videographer, um, if you created video content in the past and nobody's really doing that well, well, that's good because there's a higher barrier to entry and that's, that's your competitive advantage, right? So, but I mean, I think for both Neil and myself, I mean, if I were starting off again today, I'd still probably start with blogs, even though people are saying, you know, the blog is dying, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, I still think it's very viable. Figure out what you want to end up doing. The Gary Vee example is actually really good. He has a blog. I don't think too many people read his blog, but his videos and his podcasts are extremely popular, right? He even does books. His books do really well too. If I were you, you know, just figure out what's the easiest and then go from there. And funny enough, like there's even different categories of blogging. It could be blogging on your own blog or, hey, if you can't blog consistently, then start off guest posting because these other blogs like Entrepreneur and Huffington Post already have quite a few uh, readers, right, in the millions and millions a month. And if you don't know how to get on there, don't worry. We have a previous podcast episode that we've talked about guest posting. So just go listen to that. Yeah. And the final thing I'll add to this is uh, once you start to get in a good flow, you need to create a content reusage workflow. So I've talked about this in the past. Google what this is. There's actually a flow chart for this, the content reusage workflow. And so, for example, uh, Shalene Johnson, right? Uh, she, you know, she does, she used to do videos for uh, P90X, but now she does courses. So she has all these different courses, but she's good at, uh, she's good on camera because while well, she's been, you know, she's actually on these like these fitness videos, right? Um, so what she does is she starts with live videos first, and the live videos become podcast episodes, right? And those podcast episodes become blog posts, and those blog posts become social media posts. So you know, you start with kind of your foundational piece first. Maybe it's a blog post or it's a video first, but you think about how you can repurpose or reuse this con- this content over time. You should you should use a workflow tool uh, like Gliffy, so that's G L I F F Y, or there's like a Google workflow uh, tool as well. So that's it for this episode, but we have a new giveaway for uh, this time. This tool is called Sniply, so that's uh, S-N-I-P dot L-Y. And what Sniply does is it allows you to basically overlay links that you're sharing um, with kind of a you know call to action. So maybe there's a form where people can opt into your email list, right? So let's say you know I, I like to share Neil Patel's content from uh, neilpatel.com or Quick Sprout. Um, but guess what? When I share it on Buffer, for example, or if I share it on social media, if people click on that link, I'm going to have a little overlay on the bottom saying, "Hey, you can download you know our uh, one million backlink case study while reading his piece of content." So you could also add a retargeting pixel to it as well. But anyway, uh, we are giving away a one year annual subscription uh, to this. 
And if you want to get in on the giveaway, just rate, review, and subscribe this podcast. And uh, text marketing school, that's one word, no space, to 33444 to prove that you did it. And final thing, if you have other two ideas that you think we should mention on this podcast, reach out to either Neil or myself, and then we'll work something out. Not trying to get compensated here, just want to add more value to you all. So that's it for today, and we'll see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.